My name is Virginia Thompson, and I've been a member of the co-op for uh, just over 12 years now. Um, I'm originally from uh, outside of Atlanta. I grew up on 18 acres. Uh, we grew a lot of our own food there. So I, I learned at a young age what it meant to plant, grow, harvest, and prepare our own food. Um, and all of the work that goes into that, I think that made me an avid gardener which is what I am today. Uh, we're also backyard beekeepers. I'm a pet owner. I'm an active member of the community here in Sacramento. I would consider myself an advocate for diversity, equity, and inclusion, both in the work environment and in the community um, here in Sacramento. Uh, I played soccer until uh, COVID, so um, learned a lot about teamwork through the sport. I've studied and lived abroad. Um, it's given me an appreciation for different cultures, how different cultures function, what kind of food they eat, et cetera. Um, and I live now in Sacramento. I've been here for about 13 years. I love everything around town. I like to go to festivals. I love biking. I love music events. Um, I love sporting and being outside. Um, so that's a little bit about me. I moved here from Portland, Oregon about 13 years ago. In Portland, I was a member of a co-op there and I used to shop at specialty and smaller groceries, which were pretty common in the area. So when I moved to Sacramento, I did specifically look for a co-op. Uh, I really appreciate the, the co-op model. So um, I was specifically looking for that um, and, and sought it out. So I was really happy to discover the Sac Naka Foods Co-op was so close. Um, and I would say that the co-op has really supported me in my dietary needs as they've changed over the years. Um, and I've been able to find so many things at the store that you can't necessarily easily find elsewhere. So it was a great find and I'm glad that I found it. As I mentioned, I, I really believe in the, the cooperative model. Uh, I, I love the community ownership in a co-op, um, supporting the local producers, the education component that comes with it, some nonprofit components that come with it, the community involvement and ownership um, in a co-op. Um, I love that the money goes to you know the local economy. Uh, I think it's a really sustainable model. Um, so it's something I've been considering for the last couple of years based on my uh, more recent experience. Um, and recently, I would say I, I found that I, I have more time to commit uh, to serving on a board uh, at the co-op. So I also think it's an exciting time uh, for the cooperative right now. Um, and, and I want to really use my skills to bring the benefits of this co-op to more people to help strategize um, on how to engage the community, to engage our members, to educate and to provide more value to our members and partners. So I think that the skills that I've been developing over uh, the last few years will really help to serve uh, the co-op well. Um, I think I'll focus or mention four, four different areas of experience. Uh, the first one, I do have board experience. I serve on a nonprofit board with about 4,000 members uh, up and down the West Coast. I currently serve in an executive um, committee capacity as well as on the financial committee. Um, but I've also served on membership committees, nominating committee, uh, events and programs committee. So a lot of good experience there. Um, learned how to build really great relationships with the operational folks, as well as my fellow board members. Um, I helped to build our strategic plan, which is a five-year outlook for the organization, um, and to strategize growth and value for our members. In addition, being on the finance committee, um, you know, managing a budget, financial stability, et cetera, um, all of those things I think I've gained from, from a board role um, secondly, I, I'm a part owner of a vegan cheese business in the Pacific Northwest. And while I have familiarity with the day-to-day, -day, um, we focus a lot more on strategic direction for the organization, expansion plans, new products, et cetera. 
So kind of being a small business owner there that's also um, involved in the food business. Thirdly, I'll mention education. Both my undergrad and graduate degrees are in uh, business. So I uh, did a lot of coursework and teamwork in those fields. Uh, I think that, that served me well today in all of these capacities. And then lastly, I'll mention um, my, primary, my primary career, my primary job. I'm a director uh, in a top renewable energy company. So we build wind, solar, battery storage projects to help the state meet its climate goals. And, um, you know, in that capacity, I, I set goals. I, I work with a team of people. I manage performance, um, making sure that, you know, our performers are meeting uh, the goals, do a lot of strategic planning uh, for the year, um, control costs, work with management on corporate goals, et cetera. So um, a lot of threads, I think, between these things, but um, I think these are all great skills that I can hopefully use to serve the co-op and its members as uh, a board member.